Hey everyone, today we have a surging pressure washer. Can't read it, but it's a Honda 5 horsepower GC160, I believe. The number, the letters might be different. But basically, what we have going on is that it runs, but surges. The pressure isn't all that great. I've already replaced the filter, and I've already replaced the spark plug. Now I'm going to cut in a scene from me using it so you can see what's going on. You'll see it surging. I put a little choke on, it clears right up. Um, but you don't really want to run it like that obviously, so let me show you. How do we know that? This usually can take anyone who's done it before maybe 10, 15 minutes. If anyone's doing this for the first time, maybe a good 20 to 30. But we need to take the carb off. Just 10 millimeter bolts. We take these out. And we are gonna take this cover off the breather hose likes to hang on to it sometimes like it is now there we go um next we take off the choke lever here Then this next part can be a little treacherous. You're gonna need a, either a pair of pliers or something to kind of help you take off the fuel line. But if you have any fuel line pliers, that definitely helps. If you don't, then needle nose will usually suffice. You don't have to worry about it. Um, like leaking, there's a fuel pump. The fuel is actually higher or extremely lower than the carburetor. So that's usually why you need a pump. So now we just take this off. The choke fell off and we clean it. Let's take off the bowl. I like to look at the fuel to see what's going on. It looks fine. There might be water in it though. Let's put that off there. If there is water, it will slowly collect. So this next part, it's gonna be a little difficult if you don't have all of the machinery, but I'll give you an option if you don't. So I'm going to be cleaning this with an ultrasonic cleaner. If you do not have one, then carb spray, go to any hardware, excuse me, automotive store and just get carburetor spray um, and take all the jets out like we're doing now. You can tell it's a little gummy. If you can get anything with an angle on it like this, down to center, you push it down, the emulsion tube help guide the jet out. 
Now, why doesn't the jet just come out? Well, because the threading on the jet is actually different than on the last half inch or so, because the half inch is actually meant for the bowl nut and not the jet. So, it won't actually thread all the way out unless you have something kind of pushing it all the way through, like so. There we are. There we are. So, no, I guess the pin came out, so that makes that easy. You can take the float off, put that somewhere clean. And this next part's a little different for this couple of different carbs. So what I'm saying by that mean what I mean by that is sometimes you have this screw, sometimes you don't, sometimes it looks different. But if you do have this one, I cut off the little notch. That way I can take it out. If you don't have it in, don't worry about it. First, let's see how many turns it is. That's one. Let's just say two. More likely than not, the problem's not in the main, it's in the pilot, which is what this is actually helping control. So, by not removing that, can make fixing it a little bit more of a tricky procedure. We're going to take this out. Now, sometimes you have this screw. Sometimes you just have a black little plug. If you have the black little plug, then it's okay. You can just, I think I see some stuff in there already. But if you have the black plug, you take it out and there's a small jet on the bottom. Clean that jet. If you have this style, there's actually a jet hard mounted in the base. You want to clean that out. But right now I'm going to put in the cleaner. If you do not have a cleaner, like I said, spray it all down with the needle out. Don't spray the needle. Very important. Do not spray the needle. And then uh, just clean it off as best you can. Take an air compressor or compressed air in a can, whatever you have, and clean it out. Blow through all the little orifices. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to blow through there, through there, through there. Make sure to blow through here if you have any water going in there. Um, blow through there, pretty much everywhere. Just make sure you just clear out every single passageway you can think of. If you have an ultrasound cleaner, shove it in there for about five, 10 minutes, depending on the cleaner as well as the problem. And you should be fine to dry it off very thoroughly. And then um, we'll bring it back. Everything's clean and dry. I'm not sure which one's more important, but they're both equally, I suppose. We're going to put the, oh yeah, all these little holes in the emulsion tube need to be clean. Jet needs to be clean. Take a bristle from a brush or uh, something very, very small. You don't need to widen it. You just need to clean it. Or compressed air. You can get carb cleaner, soak it, put compressed air. I still would recommend taking like a bristle though. Because compressed air might lose or leave a few things. And I mean, the hole in there is so small, and the smallest of obstructions can cause a problem. I mean, hence the reason why we have a surging problem. Which kind of brings me up to my next point. As I told you, this is what happens if you have a surge and you put the choke on a little bit and it clears out. If your surging does not clear out because of a, um, with a little bit of a choke, being added, then this probably will not fix it. But granted, maybe if I do a hundred of these in a year, 94 of them will be this problem. I blew that out as well, cleaned it. Make sure the needle goes in there. Now you're gonna blow on here real hard. With the float like this, you shouldn't hear anything, but if you lift it up, you should. That's what you wanna do. That's fine. Uh, here we go. So now we're going to put the bowl nut back on. Now, you can use impact. I just wouldn't. It's on low. So now that's all done. 
next we need to put oh also the little jet in there if you do have one that exactly the same as this you need to get something in there it's a real pain trust me a uh, real small bristle is the best thing to do uh, from like a brush if you have a small drill bit so i mean micro drill bits um you need to get in there uh, spray it with carb spray and then make sure it's clean that's my point i suppose because that potentially could be our culprit right there was that little jet now if you have the one with the black little plug the jet is on the bottom of that black plug in fact here we go that plug right there if you take it out you will see a jet on the bottom sometimes they're brass sometimes they're plastic and it's really hard to tell if you don't see a piece of brass on the bottom then you have the plastic type there's nothing really discernibly wrong with the plastic type you just it's a little harder to tell if it's plugged but if you shove a small bristle in there like i said you should be fine so we're going to put this back in now if you don't have this don't worry about it if you do so we have one technically i think it was right there but we're gonna go right now we'll just leave it where it was okay i did however rip the fuel lines i'm gonna put a new fuel line on there it's not too hard but i will be right back and then i'm gonna not show you how to install the carb because it's exactly the opposite of how you take it off but just put it back where it was take a picture if it helps you to know where everything is and then um yeah, put it back on. And for helpful reference, choke. That will just go like that. Throttle, fuel line. The little hose goes on the motor side of the throttle uh, spring, um, or the governor spring. And then I'm just gonna put the two uh, bolts that hold it together back on. And then something I did want to mention is if you do need to drain your fuel, it's a real complicated process, so take some notes right now. Disconnect this and the fuel will drain right out. I know. And also pay close attention to here. If this is not connected to the engine, you will not have a running motor. That is the pump or the vacuum that the pump, or excuse me, that is what drives the pump. It's a vacuum that comes from the engine. So something to remember, I try to get the air out as much as I can. So it might spit a little bit of air, that's fine. Um, you know, the normal tune-up stuff is done. So this is gonna help you fix the surging pressure washer if the choke needs to be on the run. So one thing to remember is this bowl is completely empty. There is no gravity feed on this. So it's gonna take a couple pulls to have the vacuum or excuse me, the pump, pump fuel into the bowl. So don't expect it to start on the first pull. I'm gonna turn it on. Once it does turn on, turn it off and then pull it again. It's roughly what it should do normally. some pressure There you have it. So if you have a pressure washer that is surging and it clears up when you put a little bit of choke on there, this should be your fix. Clean the carburetor. If this does not fix it, unfortunately you are gonna need a new one. Um, like I said, if 
you try to put a little choke on there and it's not fixing the surge, you probably have a governor problem. I have a video on that, so search for that one. Um, but other than that, this is how you fix a surging pressure washer. If you like what you see, let me know. Definitely put a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below if this helped you out. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good night.